main focus today is the 12 foot desk that has to go to Houston. And we got about 24 hours to get this thing finished in a crate and ready to go in a truck. I'm sure we'll see some little variations in here. Like there's definitely lines right there. Here's one right here. Change. Preparation H relieves burning and itching and adds a soothing layer of protection. Use it daily to help prevent further irritation. Shouldn't you use Preparation H? You're looking at NBC's new state-of-the-art election facility. It's called Democracy Plaza, and it's got exhibits and events that are open to the public. Find out more at democracy.msnbc.com. Be right back. Tomorrow on IMIS, IMIS's countdown to Election Day begins when NBC's Tim Russert stops by IMIS in the morning. Tomorrow at 6 a.m. only on MSNBC. Tomorrow, Florida, too close to call, too important to lose. A special report, both parties' last-minute maneuvers to win. How far will they go? NBC Nightly News tomorrow. Is credit card debt stressing you out? In action. Looks like we've got some work to do. MSNBC's coverage of the battle for the White House is brought to you by Liberty Mutual. Yesterday, the New York Times ran a front page lead story titled, Huge Catch of Explosives Vanished from Sight in Iraq. It began, and I quote, The Iraqi interim government has warned the United States and international nuclear inspectors that nearly 380 tons of powerful conventional explosives used to demolish buildings, make missile warheads, and detonate nuclear weapons are missing from one of Iraq's most sensitive former military installations. Meanwhile, CBS News, working with The Times, says they had planned to air this story on 60 Minutes on October 31st, the eve of the election. It's mine. It's my vacation. It's got to be my game. Make it yours. Just snap it and share it instantly with built-in Photo Viewer. Call for your free HD plasma guide now. The most beautiful picture in the world. I'm pretty sure it's mine. High definition plasma TV from Panasonic. Ideas for life. Seal. Well, the Pentagon stepped back from what they were saying last night. Last night they said the 101st Airborne reached the site. Uh, looked around, saw there were no weapons, and they were pretty definitive. Today, they characterized it not as a real search of the facility, it was more of a pit stop on the way to Baghdad, and that these troops weren't really looking for these explosives anyway, they were looking for weapons of mass destruction, so it's, it's very possible that the weapons could have been there on April 10th, and yet they just didn't see them. So we'll plant away, Doc, tomorrow, 8, 7 central, on PAX. Mm, Can't find the time to eat right? Campbell's offers something so revolutionary, it deserves a hand. Campbell's Soup at Hand. 13 hot, satisfying soups like creamy chicken and classic tomato. They're the only soups made sippable in heat-and-go microwavable cups. Sure, your hands are full, but it's amazing what you can do when you make a Campbell's Soup at Hand instead. My little child. Frontline is made possible by contributions to your PBS station from viewers like you. Thank you. Support for this local broadcast is provided by NBT Bank, with 24 locations across the southern tier, offering personal and business banking and trust and investment services. NBT Bank, now building tomorrow. Here's a look at what's coming up tonight on WSKG-TV. Which 
teachers. I can't imagine anything worse than being accused of something you didn't do when you'd never be able to prove your innocence. But if the Salem trials were today, could modern drug testing provide the evidence to acquit? This could be associated with LSD. An autopsy on this ancient mummy may help unravel the witch's curse on Secrets of the Dead. Wednesday night at 8 on WSKG-TV. Great Performances takes us to Carnegie Hall to launch a new season of great music with an all Richard Strauss opening night celebration featuring Rene Fleming and Yo-Yo Ma. Christoph Eschenbach conducts, the Philadelphia Orchestra plays, and Peter Jennings hosts. This hall and the music made here are a very important part of the American experience. You're invited to Carnegie Hall opening night 2000. Parents.org. I love your site. It's the first place I go to find enjoyable ways to spend time with my kids. In the past month, we've created everything from e-cards to trading cards. As a matter of fact, my oldest has become quite the chef. She's introduced me to such foods as dirt pudding and edible spiders. Keep bringing the great ideas to your site, and I'll keep coming back. For parents like myself, it truly is a lifesaver. Sincerely, a PBS parent. Discover today's best authentic music on Austin City Limits. One show, 30 years. Sunday at 11 p.m. From NPR News in Washington, a PBS NPR News Brief, I'm Beverly Kirk. A federal appeals court today ruled that provisional ballots cast outside the precinct where a voter lives cannot be counted in Michigan. The decision reversed a lower court that said the ballots could be tallied if they're cast in the right city or township. A Florida court has ruled that Floridians who submitted incomplete voter registration forms won't be able to vote next Tuesday. The AFL-CIO says it will appeal. Good evening. WSKG-TV, Binghamton. Oh, no. No way. Get out of here. No, that's impossible. It couldn't be you're making that... To think that I saw it first on Independent Lens... Next. Yeah. This program is made possible by the Corporation for Public Broadcasting and by contributions to your PBS station from viewers like you. Thank you. Welcome to Independent.